Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is the number 17 short format review. So, Skull, original fine cut. What is it? Looking at the can, you have the classic design metal lid, raised boxed rim. Skull is raised as is the border up top here, the small that goes around established in 18, or sorry, 1934. Up top, it says, hand selected 100% American grown. All right. Flat forest green would be the background color. Going around to the side, you have the manufacturer's information. This is a product of the U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company of Nashville, Tennessee, the makers of Skoll. Copenhagen, Husky, and Red Seal. This is a standard size dip can. It is 1.2 net weight ounces. Then you have the fact that it is fine cut, branding, general information, and warning label. Then small branding, the cut, and the flavor. The general information is things such as this is smokeless tobacco, underage sales prohibited, sale is only allowed in the United States, and it is 100% American tobacco. As with all U.S. smokeless products, you have a sell-by date on the back, which in this case is November 10th, 2019. The Canton is a guaranteed fresh stamped U.S. smokeless can. So I'm going to cut into this. Uh, this just made my top five cans video uh, for the design of the lid. Uh, the design of the can in general, but mostly the lid. Uh, it is a very classic looking product. And it is, in fact, a classic product. This was the original Skull product. Back in the day, up until the 1980s, U.S. Smokeless didn't have product ranges for each thing. Like, there was not a Skull product range, and there was not a Copenhagen product range. There was a natural tobacco snuff that they called Copenhagen, and there was a wintergreen one that they called Skull. And at the time, back 60s, 70s, there was a mint-flavored one, Happy days. So I'm going to pop this open. That is what you're looking at. The product looks for skull fairly moist. It is not as fine as, let's say, Copenhagen Snuff, but it's pretty darn close. I'm going to take a pinch of this, if I can, and the desk just took, ah, oh. <laughs> I am backing it with a finger. <laughs> uh. Taking a second. I'll be back in a moment. And I am back. So, Skull Fine Cut Original, what is it? It is the granddaddy of winter greens. It is the original winter green to the best of my knowledge. It is not a winter green I particularly care for. That said, this is something everyone should try at least once. So, it is not sweet and heavy on the underlying dark fire tobacco. I have heard people say that it's a dark fire tobacco taste, like natural taste, with a, a light overlaying of winter green. To me, the winter green stands out more, partly because I'm not a winter green guy. So, you know, th this, although the winter green's brought down as a little more subtle than, let's say, Copenhagen winter green or the stinginess of grizzly winter green to me this is definitely winter green but it does have a strong dark fire tobacco taste 
underlying it. Um, it is not sweet, all right? The nicotine is on the lower side, but I believe it to be higher than a lot of Skull products. The cut will allow the release of it faster. So all in all, I lean sweet, and you know, that's, that's what I like. So this is not for me. However, I do use this product. When I do these reviews, I do finish the cans of this. All right, it's it's not my bag, but I I I I do use it. So if you haven't tried it, you should. Even if you're not a wintergreen guy, you, you should try this. This is the only surviving. This is the second oldest surviving product, uh, dip snuff wise. Copenhagen snuff being the number one. There are a couple names in the Swisher catalog that outdate this but obviously they are not the original products since Swisher got them so Skoll original fine cut in a very very nice can uh, the cut is easy to deal with, easier than a snuff to deal with I have it moved around the side if you've noticed obviously though I did have problems getting it out of the can um, it's not overly stingy it does stay formed once in the lip. Nicotine is there. It's not terribly strong, but it is there. I won't do anything else. I'll, I'll keep this in through the uploading process and whatnot. Flavor is not sweet. Keep that in mind with a heavy tobacco, dark-fired undertone. All right, so that's what it is. Skull, original fine cut. I am the Soon Tide Dip and Chew Guy. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves, and God bless.